Opposing viewpoints both being expressed right now at the state capitol in downtown Austin. Those for and against same-sex marriage are gathered as the U.S. Supreme Court considers a challenge to California's Proposition 8, which bans gay marriage. A lawyer seeking to overturn California's Prop 8 is comparing it to bans on interracial marriages. The Supreme Court declared that unconstitutional decades ago, and now the high court is charged with deciding whether Prop 8 should be upheld. Danielle Lee is outside the court with the latest. Good afternoon. There are hundreds, possibly thousands of people crowded outside the courtroom right now, both for and against a complete reversal of Proposition 8, that ban on same-sex marriage in California. This is very much an emotional day for many people. And Justice Kennedy spoke of that inside the courtroom when he said, you're asking us to go on uncharted waters here. The potential is that justices could issue a ruling that would clear the way for same-sex marriages around the country. Now, people who support Proposition 8, who don't want to see that happen argued that that proposition was intended to protect the original purpose of marriage which they say was procreation to that argument justices took issue justice kagan asking whether it would be constitutional to ban people over 55 from getting married and justice Breyer asking whether it would be constitutional to ban people who were sterile from getting married those same-sex couples who brought the suit attorneys for them argue that it's unconstitutional to prevent them from getting married to that justice roberts asked why they had to include everyone on the institution of marriage and Scalia asked when did it become unconstitutional this in many ways a devices issue Justice Kennedy thought to be the swing vote here among the justices his comments are key and he spoke to the significance of this for children of same-sex couples saying doesn't their opinion count we are expecting to get a decision in June reporting from the Supreme Court in Washington DC I'm Danielle Lee back to you a controversial move by the Austin Independent School District to extend health insurance benefits to domestic partners. Reports say the district will provide the same coverage to same-sex partners and unmarried heterosexual couples starting this September. That'll cost the district about $600,000. AISD has been considering the move since and will follow Pflugerville, which recently made a similar change. Critics say the action violates the state's Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage as being between a man and a woman. There is a legislative push to cut off health care funding to districts that have such a plan.